feel like a whole new position group this this spring. I mean, you guys, you know, you look at the opening day roster last year, there's like seven, eight guys who aren't back, you know, between graduation and transfer. Do you feel like you have a whole new group you're working with this spring? Uh, it's a lot of familiar faces, but you like, like you said, it's a lot of new guys stepping up. Um, you know, speaking of that, obviously, great performance yesterday with JP, Phil, and Chase on Pro Day. It's good to see those guys go out there and chase their dreams. But yeah, we got we got some familiar guys, but just stepping up and growing. I think we're doing a great job, and uh, it's fun to watch their improvement. You know, they're, they're taking great beats every day, figuring out what to work on and moving forward. So it's an exciting time for my right there in the mix too. I mean, he's a, he's a very polished player and the things he's doing, he's just kind of translating his, uh, you know, his skills to our system. And so it's fun to watch him as well. Um, and Brandon George, I got to throw him in the mix too. I mean, he's a, he's a guy who's played a lot of football in our system. He's doing things right. Um, and, and he's fun to watch him grow and go through those little detailed growths as well. Uh, but a lot of guys in the mix. Brandon's Brand in the middle, right? Yeah, Brandon's in the middle. He's bounced around right? a little bit, and when we get to that Delta package, that knowledge overlaps, and so uh, there's certainly some things he's learned in there as well. Brian, how is that competition for opportunity fueling your room, and how are you guys responding to it? Yeah, so it's a li little bit different than charge at last year. Last year we had a lot of guys that had that experience, and so it was everyday performance competitions, a little more teach and grow and fail and move forward now. Um, we're still learning some basics along the way, and so um, it, Everybody's competitive, but it's not quite too thin nail for reps. Like I said, I want those guys to fail fast and feel confidence every day growing in those skills that they're developing. What does that change the focus of you as a coach? You compared to them last night, you know, Chase, John, uh, Phil. They could look at each other and know this is what we got to do in a certain situation. Whereas now you're working with guys who are going to have to develop that chemistry. What, how does that change your focus as both as the coaches? What do you guys do day to day? Yeah, I think it's, and as I talked about, all those different levels of what they're learning. Um, again, the experienced group last year. Um, now it's slowing down each of those phases and it opens up so it's a little bit slower in the meeting room, making sure those details are hit and they're acknowledged and they're understood. Um, and, and so just a little bit slower, um, like I said, but the growth is larger. So it's fun, like I said, it's fun to watch and see that and see those, those things happen on the field and those connections be made and those guys keep taking those steps forward. Pat, Pat has, uh, yeah, Pat has talked about how Solomon kind of went back and forth between receiver and linebacker last year, but then it was sort of a moment in the offseason where he kind of really committed to linebacker. I mean, first of all, were you excited that he like settled on your your position group? And then, you know, you know did you notice that change? Because Pat seems to point to that time when he really sort of locked in and committed right. to, and really kind of took a step in his development. No doubt. And, and again, it's obviously 
exciting as a coach when a guy wants to say, hey, I want to be a linebacker. Um, but as you guys know, Solomon's skills are, are unbelievable. And he can he, it's awesome that he can do that at the college level, be able to have the skill set to be a receiver or a linebacker. But his commitment, um, and again, we saw flashes on special teams. Right? I mean, when he runs down on kickoff all last year, I mean, he's the first one down there, and he's a big physical dude. And so just being able to focus in on that linebacker has been huge for him and that growth every day. So uh, that, that, top, that point in time, I think that would be a moment in his life where he looks back and uh, he's able to reflect and say, you know, that was the difference. And so that, that's a cool spot. Final question. Did you like fist pump or anything? It was like, <laughs> Big whoa, yeah. yeah. It was like no, a recruiter. Can't, can't say that. I was a, like that, but it was a good time.